Notion just released its most unique view ever. At 2025's Mac with Notion, there are two things coming soon. One of them is the map view that has some unique twists. So in this video, I want to show you everything about this view and how to use it. For those who don't know me, my name is Leon and I'm verified by Notion with all of their three badges. And here is map view. Now here on the left, you can see I prepared everything that we want to build in this video or at least a part of it. Now, this is very simple. We have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven properties. You could make this way more complex, add way more properties, but for the sake of this video, because this video is around the map feature and the location property, I want to keep it simple. Now here in this location property, you can store real addresses. As you can see, when I hover over it, I can see a small preview of a map where I can see the location. And if I would now click on this, my default map provider would open this and I could then start a route to this location. Now let's get to the map view for this activities database. So in this view, we can see a map and every entry in our database as a pin on this map. And what we can then do, because we selected side peak for this, is we have this map. Let's click, for example, on the Statue of Liberty, and then we can open this in side peak and still see this on the map on the left. So now here on this map, you can see New York as well as everything on the right to it. And on the left, we also have New York on 360p. So this is what we want to build now. And at the end of the video, I will also show you more use cases as well as a very clever workflow to consider. By the way, let me also know what you think about this new view in the comments down below. Let me know what you want to use it for and what you overall think of it. So as I said, in order to get the map view, we need to add a location property. And you can just do this by clicking on the plus and then select place. And here you have the options to search for a location as well as log your current location. So now let's, for example, type in the Statue of Liberty. And then here, when I type, for example, Statue of Liberty, you can see it pop up here and now I can select it. So it's not just plain text, it's a real address. But now, because I already prepared this, we don't need this place location. Now what we want to do is we want to build the actual map view. Now you go in here and here you can see the new view map. Now let's add this binoculars icon and map is actually okay for the name. Then we can configure the layout and this is very short. We can show the page icon but from what I now see there nothing changes and we can select map by. This is something similar to the calendar view where we could select a date we want to show this by. And here it's not a date, it's a location property because when we have multiple location properties, we can select which one to use. Then for opening pages, we want to select side peak because as I already showed you in a preview, we can then see the pages on the right and the map on the left. And this comes very handy in the use case I will show you in a second. For the rest of the menu, it's really short compared to, for example, a normal table view. And what is different in detail, I will now show you on the screen, the things that are missing. So now what you can do with this view is, as I said, you can, of course, customize the layout. Then you can go for the height. You can go for small, you can go for medium, you can go for large or even extra large, but for me, large is perfectly fine. Now, a thing I discovered when I played with it a bit is because the view that I already prepared on the left side that I previously showed you is filtered by only showing activities that I haven't visited. If I have one left, Notion will automatically zoom in to show me this bigger. So there is no need to select the small one if you say I then want to see it uh, zoomed in later. And now select the filter. In this case, we want to select by done is unchecked. So it only shows 
properties where I haven't been. We don't need to filter by a location tag or a location relation because what I can simply do is I can zoom in to not see other properties like for example location activities in London because I can zoom in to New York and I don't see them. The next thing that is very useful is as you can see here I have a type property where you can see normal sightseeing, food, park, landmark, show, museum, all these different types. And what I can do here is because now all of them are blue, I can apply a conditional formatting. I can say for the type I want to do a conditional formatting and I want to match the color of the tag. So now I can see this is a sightseeing, this is I think a museum, yes, this is, this is a show and so on. Now let me show you this really, I think it's very smart workflow. Because when you are for example for a few days in New York or any other city or even country, what you want to do is, or at least I like to do it, I like to plan the days and I like to batch sightseeing based on their location so I see the most in the least amount of time. So what I can do then is I can go to my map with all my properties and you can see different clusters. So I can see these are, these are kind of together, these are kind of together and these are kind of together. So now what I can do is I can click on this and I can open it in SidePeak. By the way, if you want the map to be bigger, you can drag the side peak to make it smaller to have more of the map. So now we can, for this, select the 3rd of October. We can go in here and also select the 3rd of October and also for these two. And then I can say I want to visit this on the 3rd of October. And then I can go in here and for all of these here, I can then select the 4th of October and I think that is a very useful workflow to plan trips. Now other use cases I think would benefit from this map view are for example if you plan a short list for a YouTube video for example there you want to there you want to batch shots for a video based on their location. For example first I want to shoot all of my shots for the video on location A then all shots I need to do for location be. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to, for example, first take all my shots for this video over here, then over here, and then over here. What I would like to do, and I can see this now on a map better than only seeing like the name of the street. I can see, okay, first let me shoot all the, let me first shoot all of my footage for the video on this location, then on this, and then on this. Another use case that I think would benefit from this view is a CRM, any kind of CRM for personal use or professional views if you want to capture any addresses. And by the way, everything you see here got created by the new Notion AI agent. So I didn't create any entry of this database, I just prompted the Notion agent to create these entries for the database. So it did its research and then pasted every sightseeing item into this database. Because creating this by hand takes a lot of time. If you want to learn more about these Notion AI agents, watch this video over here. Stay consistent.